Okay, this is just a brief tutorial to help you download NetLogo, get it installed, download the model, and uh, get it installed and running. So the link will take you to this page. This is the download, uh, you know, start page for NetLogo. By default, the latest version 611, the one that we're mostly going to use in this class, is selected. You can put your information here. This is an open source project. They're just curious. They're not going to do anything with this. You don't have to put anything if you don't want. You can just hit download and it will take you to the page. You can select your operating system. If you're on Mac, you download this one. If you're on Windows, any modern system in the last 15 years, you should download the 64-bit. Same thing if you're on Linux like I am, you would just click here and download it. And it can take uh, quite a while. This is pretty big, 210 megabytes. Their server's not slow. Again, it's an open source project. So it can take half an hour or more to download, so you want to make sure you have enough time to do this. Unfortunately, there's no version for uh, Chromebook, no version for iOS, no version for Android at this moment, which is why I've been doing NetLogo for web. But now we're going to need to download this software and run it. The only other requirement is that you have an up-to-date Java installation. Most of you should have this. If you have any problems with that, I do have a link to install, you know, how to install Java for your operating system as well. Um, so I'm not downloading this because I've previously downloaded it, um, but it will come uh, into your downloads uh, folder as a zip archive. I have some information about how to do that. Um, here's just a, a, an example archive. I would just right click on my system and extract here and from the .zip comes a folder with a bunch of stuff in it. Now this is not NetLogo. Um, my NetLogo I have installed in a, a different place. I, I simply do the same thing and drag the folder to a place that I prefer to have it on my computer. But your folder will be named NetLogo611 and when you open it up you'll see a whole bunch of stuff in there. Now I have a bunch of models that I have dragged into there. Um, so you can see this is a Maya Sim model. To drag it over into it, you would literally just pull it like so. Um, I already have a version, so it gave me an error. Uh, but inside there, there'll be some folders. There'll be a bunch of other stuff in here. Most of this stuff you don't have to deal with. This is the file that you're looking for, the one called NetLogo. There's another one, NetLogo 3D, there's NetLogo Logging, NetLogo Headless. Forget about those ones, this is the only one. Now when you first try and open this up, you may get a little error that says this file is not set to be executable. Depending on your system, there's different ways to uh, make it executable. On mine, there's a right click, Properties, Permissions, Allow, Executing as a Program, and uh, at that point, you should be able to double click on it and it will start the NetLogo software, which I'm showing you here. Um, and this is the interface right here. Now, most uh, models, the ones that you're going to download, will come as a .zip because they have folders again. So I just showed you this is MySim, which will not run in 6.11. We'll, I'll show you in a minute how to download an earlier version of NetLogo. Um, but it's a good example. It'll have all of these files in there, and then it'll have this .nlogo. The .nlogo is the model. The rest of these are data files that the model needs, so they all have to be next to each other in the same folder. So probably the simplest thing to do is once you download your model zip file, extract it, and then drag it over inside the .netlogo folder itself. So I have a whole bunch of them in here, including the Bronze Age Collapse model here. Um, and you can see, this, so this is what it would look like, faco.zip, right click, extract here, and you would get this folder, and inside this folder you have all the stuff that it needs. So all this stuff has to stay basically together, just to make sure that um, the model will run. Uh, so to get this model running in that logo, uh, some of you might be able to double click the end logo and your system will find that you have NetLogo installed. I'm willing to bet on most systems that's probably not going to happen. So you open NetLogo first, you go to File, Open, um, you'll get this dialog, and you can just navigate to wherever you downloaded it. Um, a, a fun little shortcut is simply to drag and drop the end logo file on here. And at least on my system, 
it finds it like this and I can now double click on it and it'll take uh, you know up to a minute or so especially the first time you launch a model to set up the interface and so this should be pretty familiar with you it looks pretty close to the web version of NetLogo um, this is the interface tab all your sliders your switches you set up your go all of your plots are all right here and then the tabs that model info is here and the model code is here for the Baco model they didn't put anything in info so you'll have to read the accompanying documentation which is this folder uh, file right here documentation.pdf and there's a bunch of information in here about how to run the model what all the sliders mean how they designed the model itself I'll record another brief tutorial about that about how to use this particular model um, but before we go I mean basically you're ready to go with this I wanted to show you um, how to download a earlier version if you wanted to do the Maya sim model instead um, you would go to the same net logo download page from here you would select version 5.3.1 then you would click download again and then you would download for your operating system uh, I'm not going to do that at this particular moment um, but the basic basically the same thing will appear um, the net logo file the net logo e executable um, file in 6.11 it uh, it only has um, where are we oh, I should go back here sorry in 6.11 it only has uh, just the name NetLogo. In earlier versions, it might be NetLogo.jar. That stands for uh, Java Archive. Um, it's the same deal. You have to make sure it's set to executable. Then you can double click on it and it will launch. And you can go to File, Open, and you uh, navigate to where your Maya Sim um, model actually is. Again, I've unpacked mine and it's here and again it has all of these you know files that have to be there together and you need to make sure that you are opening that dot n logo file Maya sim when you open it up uh, has a lot more sliders in it and so you're going to want to read the documentation again here it is uh, when you um, open up the zip file it's in there and you need to read through all of this stuff just to make sure you understand it and I'm not going to make a demonstration of Maya Sim because it's again the alternative one. Uh, but the same kind of thing applies. To what I'll show you for the Bronze Age Collapse model. You're going to want to set the sliders and run through the simulation uh, multiple times to get a handle on it. So hopefully that is uh, relatively clear for you all to figure out how to install NetLogo and to get a model loaded up. If you have any issues reach out to me and let me know um, what's going on but hopefully you'll be able to get